Japanese DJ Du releases lifelike fragments of the human body that respond to touch. The famous robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro explains why, with the advancement of neural networks, humanoid robots are reaching a new level and discusses when they might truly replace humans. What can the latest bionic prosthetics do, and can they turn us into cyborgs? These and other high-tech news in one video. Not many engineers and organizations are working on creating realistically looking androids and gynoids. Partly this is due to the technical complexity of accurately reproducing human facial expressions on a robot, making such robots intricate and expensive devices that have yet to find suitable applications. However, with the development of artificial intelligence and neural networks, the demand for humanoid robots is rapidly increasing. One of the most renowned roboticists in the field, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University, who has been involved in creating several humanoid robots and even crafted an android replica of himself, has come close to developing an interactive robot that completely mimics human behavior. His robots perform in theaters, engage in conversations, and even deliver lectures. According to Ishiguro, it's inconceivable to imagine life in the 21st century metropolis without androids. In the future, they may replace humans in almost all fields of activity. In an interview with The Village, Ishiguro discussed where these new technologies will be applied, why robots must be anthropomorphic, and how cities will change in the coming decade. We can no longer halt technological development. Throughout all stages of civilization, humans have improved technologies to make their lives easier. Washing dishes, cleaning, these are not human tasks, and robots should perform them. We now have dishwashers and washing machines, but the human brain is best suited for interacting with human beings. Even small children and the elderly will be able to work with a robot, stated the professor. Japanese artist, engineer, and DJ, DJ Du, not only creates music and engages in production, but also designs unusual accessories in the form of hyper-realistic human body parts. He showcases his creations for sale, and buyers are easily drawn to them. His first creation was an iPhone case covered in human skin, along with a DJ controller made in the same format. Subsequently, he introduced a mouth-shaped wallet, available in several varieties. DJ Du shares videos featuring his new products on his Instagram account. Some of his models are known to respond to touch. For example, a leather cube with a human eye comes with a remote control, allowing users to control the blinking frequency, the width of eye opening, and more. The cost of such an item is around $5,000. Currently, there are about 30 types of creations by the Japanese artist, made from human skin and flesh. The production of these pieces is handled by the company g -Euro, specializing in unique design and modeling for various films and commercials. It is said that the production of such art takes between one to three months. Many well-known creative people in the West happily purchase these practical works of art from the talented Japanese artist. Interestingly, there is more demand for these accessories abroad than in Japan itself. Share in the comments whether you would consider acquiring such an accessory for yourself. Every year, more than 1 million amputations are performed worldwide. In the United States, more than 185,000 amputations occur, while in Russia, the number exceeds 70,000. The primary causes include diabetes and injuries, with some people being limbless from birth. Bionic prosthetics enable individuals who have lost limbs to lead full lives. However, only 10% of amputees actually use them. Could bionic prosthetics turn us into cyborgs in the future, and why hasn't this happened yet? A bionic prosthesis is one that partially or completely replaces a lost organ and performs its functions. The simplest bionic prosthetics are mechanical, relying on remaining muscles for bending and flexing. More advanced prosthetics incorporate sensors that respond to nerve impulses, allowing for intricate movements, even fine motor skills. Recently, prosthetics connected to the brain have emerged, responding directly to its signals, bypassing muscles. In 2015, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, tested such a prosthesis during an F-35 flight simulator, controlled by a paralyzed woman using mechanical hands. In 2018, the first eye prostheses Argus II were introduced, aiding partial vision restoration through electrical stimulation of remaining cells. Modern prosthetics leverage robotics advancements, mimicking individual gestures and conveying tactile sensations. According to the American analytics company Frost & Sullivan, the average cost of advanced prosthetics ranges from $5,000 to $50,000. Despite these technological strides, prosthetics have not yet become widespread due to their high cost and the interdisciplinary collaboration required among engineers, biologists, and medical professionals. 3D printing might change the landscape, creating affordable, customizable prosthetics that are also lightweight, 
costing up to $10,000. In recent years, bionic prosthetics have evolved beyond their primary function, becoming a lifestyle, hobby, and even a fashionable accessory. Manufacturers aim to enhance prosthetics further with the latest technologies, incorporating features like built-in payment modules, smart device switches, and Wi-Fi modules. Soon, prosthetics might replace smartphones, fitness trackers, smart speakers, and watches. The future remains uncertain, but Elon Musk with his brain chip suggests that the cyber era is on the horizon. At first glance, it may seem like Photoshop, but these are indeed masks, skillfully crafted from high-quality latex. These masterpieces are the work of American artist Landon Meyer and his company, Hyperflesh. Landon first gained attention in 2011 when the internet was flooded with images of frightening and even more realistic children's masks. Instantly, the company gained popularity and sales increased tenfold. While the artist used to produce 25 masks per month, the surge in demand brought it up to 250 masks per month. The price tag of $350 didn't deter buyers. The handmade, quality-crafted masks became a valuable addition to even the most discerning collector's collection. In 2013, at the annual Comic-Con Festival, Landon once again captured public attention. The standout was a mask featuring the face of Walter White, the main character from the series Breaking Bad. What is remarkable is that the mask was worn by the character's actor, Brian Cranston. Each mask is an individual handmade creation by sculptor Landon Meyer. It involves meticulous work, including initial design, sculpting, 3D printing, and internal casting. Gary Fay is a self-taught artist based in Western Australia. While he started 3D printing only in November 2018, he has created an impressive portfolio of mechanical hands that take the wearer's look to another level thanks to practical effects. With no formal education in art, Gary has always been interested in creating something out of nothing. With this creative thinking, he has taught himself how to design in Fusion 360 and how to use a 3D printer. Two weeks later, he had made a full set of fingers mainly just using the basic functions. As 3D printers are fairly affordable these days, more and more people find this medium for small-scale manufacturing increasingly accessible. I had wanted one for a few years because I had been designing articulated fingers out of icy pole sticks and fencing wire, but I was unable to make an item worth selling, Gary says. Soon, his mechanical hands have become a sensation. This set of fingers was printed in PLA Wizards Voodoo and Rapunzel Silver. After creating multiple designs, I have now realized that human-driven mechanics is an entirely new medium that I can work with. The fingers are just the beginning of what is possible, added Gary. The Electric Eel aircraft from Ampere has spent a record amount of time in the sky. The intelligent first-generation hybrid transmission has reduced fuel consumption by 50 to 70 percent, enabling the aircraft to cover an unprecedented distance. During a test flight, the aircraft covered 2,213 kilometers, circling over Camarillo Airport in California, remaining airborne for precisely 12 hours. In the future, Ampere plans to implement a parallel configuration where the combined hybrid engine system will drive the rear propeller and transfer power to the electric motor of the nose propeller. This will enable the use of regenerative pneumatic braking and allow the gasoline engine to charge the battery during flight. Despite its record endurance, the current generation of the aircraft needs to be recharged in the hangar between flights. However, in the next generation model, greater flexibility is planned, allowing it to operate solely on fuel when charging is not possible. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.